All right, we are live. Let's go ahead and get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Friday night to the Purpose for Productivity show. I'm Florence Donald, your host, but tonight you are in for a special treat. I am not going to be hosting tonight. We have a guest host and I'm so excited to have him here. None other than my mentor, my live stream online video mentor, the person who is really, I say all the time, he pushed me out here y'all, but I'm excited because he's going to share how to use a tool that we all must learn to use because we're communicators and communication requires being able to do it effectively and to have have the right tool at hand and know how to use the tool. So he's going to share that with you tonight. Take notes, y'all. I am so thrilled to have him here. Welcome to the show, Mr. Walter Strong from The Huddle with Walter Strong. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Florence. And good evening, everyone. My name is Walter Strong from The Huddle, and I want to thank our dear sister, the live stream queen, productivity guru, Miss F Mrs. Florence Donald for this opportunity to be your guest host tonight. And tonight we're going to have fun. We're going to talk about a great tool that's going to help you as a content creator and you being able to create content in your productivity system. So if you are a content creator, you are a, vi a video influencer or a thought leader, then this conversation tonight is for you so we're going to have some fun tonight but before we get into this content let's just jump over to the chat and see who's in the chat and uh, we're going to try to behave ourselves but we see already there is a troublemaker in the building and his name is tech troublemaker a very good troublemaker joining us in the chat good evening sir and then we have the live stream moderator master uh disaster frank jackson action frank jackson in the house Forgive me, Frank. Too much Apollo Creed for me, man, when I be watching Rocky. <laughs> then also we have our man Dagan in the house. BGG grooming in the house. Good evening. Uh, as the 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 productivity community is engaging in the chat with one another. So that's a good thing. And so um, as you join us tonight, we're going to have some fun. Grab a pen, grab a pad, because we're going to do some work tonight. The goal is to be able to get this done in 30 minutes. So we're going to try to stick to the commitment that we've been charged with. So if you have a question towards the end, I need you to put a Q in front of the question. And if you have a comment, I need you to put a C in front of the comment. So without further ado, let's get into the content that we're going to talk about tonight. Uh, and one particular tool that I use is called Canva. Um, if you are familiar with Canva as a content creator, since we are talking to content creators tonight, let me know in the chat, hashtag Canva, hashtag Canva, if you are familiar with it. And so we're going to talk about a particular tool that I feel that is a game changer within Canva um, for us, because as content creators, we can get into creating content, creating thumbnails. We can get into creating social media posts. We can get into creating uh, online flyers and all different types of things. And if you are not using Canva folders, then when it comes time to kind of replicate and build, make new thumbnails, make new social media posts or overlays, what happens is the previous content or thumbnails that you have made, they start to get pushed down to the bottom, get pushed down to the bottom, and it makes it a little difficult to be able to find what you're looking for. So let me give you an example right quick before I get into the content here. Let me click on my home page. If it'll let me. Do, 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 do. Okay, it's not going to let me because I got it locked to this page, so no problem. So let's stick to the game plan. Let's stick to the game plan. But if you look at your Canva homepage, you'll see tons and tons of stuff that you've done on Canva. 
And so when it comes time to now to find something important, if you don't have it properly organized or put into a folder, um, it's going to, as Sister Florence has said, it's going to cause a lot of friction. And that friction could be not being able to maximize and using your time wisely. It's going to cause friction from the standpoint of you being able to find what you're looking for so that you can be able to get certain things done in a timely manner and, and just overall having things organized. And so that's what we're going to talk about tonight here about Canva. So let me put this back on the large screen. Ah, there we go. Now I got it to work. Boom. Okay. Let's see. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart this. I'm going to restart this. I'm going to get this thing to work properly. Because I worked on this before I got started. Boom. Come on. Okay, let's do this. See, I, I knew this was going to be a great show tonight because look at the issues that we have. <laughs> okay, let's do this. So while I'm, I'm working through these technical difficulties, if you're just joining me here on the Purposeful Productivity live stream show, give me a hashtag team live if you are watching this live as we are working through this technical difficulty issues that we're having all right perfect why is this not working okay back on and completely frozen. Okay. So we got to improvise. We're going to have to call an audible here. And so I'm just going to have to go through the presentation. Okay. All right, perfect. So I'm going to take this down and we're going to do this presentation without the slide. I want to say good evening to the emotional CEO and um, appreciate the moderators being in the chat. And so we're going to talk this through since the slide presentation is not functioning properly. So Canva folders. Um, Canva folders is basically a, a, a tool that you can use in your content creation and you being able to create content. It will help you to do three things. Number one, if you're using Canva folders, it's going to help you with your organization of content. So if you are a person who has a lot of thumbnails that you create, it's going to help you to keep all your thumbnails organized in one folder. If you are a person who has a lot of social media posts and promotion of your live stream shows or videos that you're posting, it's going to help you with not only um, organizing them in one folder, but it's going to also help you with you being able to save time in finding them versus scrolling down the entire home page looking for one item or two items that you're looking for. And then most importantly, it's going to help you to it's going to help you to be able to 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 keep your content in, in, in the order that you need. So that way you can be able to pull from what you, you're, you're needing to, to, to pull from. And so those are the three benefits of Canva. Um, if you are creating multiple folders, it's important to understand to be able to create multiple folders, you have to have a paid version of Canva. You have to have a paid version, which is the pro version. So if you're a person who's creating more than just thumbnails, if you're creating more than just um, flyers, but you create a whole lot of other different types of content, 
and graphic designing with um, Canva, you need a paid version. But if you are a person who just uses Canva f- free version just for just let's just say for thumbnails only and you're not using it for overlays, you're not using it for YouTube banners and things like that, then the paid version will probably be better for you. Uh, I'm sorry, the free version will be better for you. But if you're doing creating multiple things for your YouTube channel or for your website and content creation, the paid version, the pro version is going to be the best version for you in being able to have multiple folders. Okay. So, um, let's see if I can get this to work one more time because I need to do a video presentation of this. Okay. You know, just come on, come on. Let's try to get this to work one more time because I'd worked so hard on getting this done. Okay. So it's almost like it's frozen. Okay. That's what it is. It's frozen and it's not disconnected. So I wonder if, if I do this, let's try this then. Let's just pull up a new one. Because we're, we're going to get this to work. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get this to work. We're going to get this to work. Da-da! <laughs> Please tell me it worked. Please tell me it worked. Yeah, it is not working tonight. Do we got it? We're going to get this to work. We're going to get this to work. Me. Yeah, it is not working. Okay. So. Since we're going to have to pivot and our presentation is not working and we want to be respectful of everyone's time. If you are a person who uses Canva and let me know in the chat what you're using Canva for. Give me, you know, let's put some C's in front of the comments while I am looking in the chat because I see quite a bit of comments pulling up. Uh, Good evening, Mr. Emotional CV. Uh, CEO, he says the pro version is worth uh, the investment for creating, creating uh, for creative out of creating out of there. Definitely, definitely. I'll tell you a quick story while we're waiting for some more comments to come in. Um, emotional CEO, me starting out, uh, I remember I had the free version and I was cre- learning to start creating. I thought I was learning to create thumbnails. And so I was starting to create thumbnails and I would take a picture that I uploaded, put it on the thumbnail template, uh, download the the thumbnail template onto the YouTube video. And I knew nothing about background removing, which is a paid feature of the pro version. So I didn't think anything about the understanding, the importance of that. I uploaded the video and then friends who would watch the the, the video or leave comments or someone would send me a text and say, why are you putting pictures of your living room with your your uh, your blinds and your patio can be seen on a thumbnail? And I'm like, well, what are you talking about? It's just it's a good picture. And then someone pointing out to me says, you know, Canva has a pro version where you can do the background removal and you can just have the picture and then just create a new background with your thumbnail. As simple as that we think that is for me, to, a person to figure it out, I just didn't know no better. And so when I upgraded to the pro version, um, I brother got delivered from making terrible, bad thumbnails like that. Still working on my thumbnail game, but you ain't seeing me upload no more backgrounds uh, with uh, my living room or my kitchen or God forbid the bathroom and me having a, a concert in the bathroom. <laughs> See, we got any other comments here. Uh Text says export 
as a PDF in the show th that way. Um, you're, you're right. I'm probably going to have to do that going forward because I've always kind of did it as a slide presentation. And just like I uploaded Flor um, Florence's uh, video uh, introduction that way, that's probably going to be the way that I'm need to going to do going forward. So that way, um, hopefully I'll be invited as a guest host uh, again next time, um, unfortunately, because of the mess that I've made here of her show. But we're going to we're going to turn some lemon into lemonade tonight. BG Grooming says um, I have the pro version. T tell me, uh, BG Grooming, Dagan, what is what's one what's one of the main features of the pro version that really helps you as a content creator? What's what really stands out and helps you? Uh, let us know. Let's have a conversation here. Uh, okay, here. Tech has another. Okay, Tech has a question, a comment from the emotional CEO. Doop, 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 doop. I use Canva for thumbnails, banners, uh, for Zoom background. That's that's right. That's right. You know, when, and I'll continue in his comment. I remember, you know, during the pandemic, when we were all forced to have to start doing Zoom. I don't think Microsoft Teams had really came on the scene yet, but we we're all forced to do Zoom. Doing background uh, for Zoom was the definitely the 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 hot topic of the day to be able to to do uh, so that you can be able to put up your green screen. How many of you having those green screens that you have to fight? So you can put it up very easy, but you got to fight to take it down. My wife would tell me every time I put up my green screen. I would have to get her to help me. We would both get a workout in putting up and taking down our green screen. When I did have it up, I would have my Zoom background that I created in Canva. And he, as he said, he does it for clients, for designs, with um, motion and, do, 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 and motion presentations for clients do, do, and facilitate um, a pretty much uh, live canva man that is a great power tip right there great power tip if it's definitely if you're a person who is into still using green screens and you need some type of zoom background or even even stream yard they have those as well dagan perfect dagan adds on here um i'm using it for I'm using the background removal and more options on uh graphics and fonts it <laughs> I'm telling you, Dagan, I, I wish I would have came prepared tonight and, and had that old thumbnail. Um, I still have it up there loaded on my YouTube channel, uh, unlisted. And I look at it every now and then as I'm scrolling through uh, previous videos that I've uh, uploaded into YouTube. And I just shake my head and say, boy, boy, you just you was a mess. You was a mess, Walter. But it's that's what content creation is all about. It's about learning and and learning how to be more productive with less friction and using Canva as a tool, in particular Canva folders. One of the things I like about Canva folders is after you start creating your different folders, whether if it's thumbnails, uh, because I do a lot of slide presentations, it groups them under the project section. If you're familiar with the project section, which is right below the home section, the home button of Canva, it groups them all under the project section. And then there, once you click on that, it gives you your most recent folders that you were in. And then it gives you all of the rest of the ones that you've created. And you can then um, basically then just go in and find the folder that you need and easily uh, pull from what you need and start working on it. I also like once you get into a particular, let's say you're, you're using a thumbnail and you're kind of doing some, you know, adding your, fo your, your photo, you're doing the background removing, you're adding your fonts and um, you, you, you've picked your color of how you want your thumbnail to be. They have a tab right there where it has upload, it has the elements, and it has the project section. You click on the project and you can go right back to the projects, project section, 
and you can be able to click on the folders and find additional things without you having to click out of cam the Canva uh, item that you're in and go back to the home page. So it, it's constantly trying to make things easy and organized for you, me and you as content creators. Um, we can also be able to be able to add uh, different color backgrounds. So that way, if you're, if I'm creating a thumbnail and I'm, I'm sticking to one theme of color or having multiple colors that I want to work with for a thumbnail or for a slide presentation, I can add those into the folder and then it creates a section for images and then it creates a section for designs. So it's constantly organizing things. It's constantly making things easy for us in the folder section. Because the flip side of it is, if we are not using folders with Canva, then you're just basically pulling, constantly having to go to the home page, scroll, scroll, scroll down, and look for what you have. And unfortunately, that's not the best use of our time. It's not the best use of us trying to find things and disorganization in chaos unless you are a master like some people in the chat they say they are the master of organized chaos I'm not calling out any names but um if you are a person who's doing that it's just it's not the best use of our time as content creators and it's not going to help us to put our our best work as content creators let's get back more into the chat this is some great conversation that we're having despite the little challenges that we've been having here. Okay, boom, let's start this comment. Dagan says, I need it. I need to add folders. Uh, definitely, definitely you wanna start taking that. And, and um, so I'll kind of talk you through this tonight, uh, Dagan. I, um, and uh, we're definitely gonna have to do this presentation over um, with having everything up. And what you can basically do the same way you would save, let's say, a thumbnail that you've just created. You know, you hit on save there. The next button says save to folder. And so if you don't have folders save, it's going to ask you to create a folder. When you create the folder, it's going to ask you to then name the folder. After you name the folder, it's going to then ask you if you have a person that also has access to your Canva Pro. Maybe you have uh, a VA, a virtual assistant, or you have some that one that you works with, uh, with your graphic designing of your thumbnails or, or your slide presentations, your banners, your overlays. It'll say, do you want to share the folder? So that option is there as well. And if you don't have that as a need, you can then just skip down after you've had it named. It says then to create the folder. And so then, now you have this folder here and it saves it right under the project tab. And so when it comes time for you to now create more thumbnails, um, you can then go right to that folder, find that previous thumbnail. And maybe, you, maybe you're like me. I will copy, if, especially if I'm going to use that same photo for a different thumbnail. I can copy that thumbnail, create a new thumbnail. And it's already saved in the folder. So I don't have to resave that new copy into that save folder. It's already there. I can just then go into the thumbnail and then start creating it. However, if you go to Canva homepage, you put in the search bar YouTube thumbnails and you start looking at some new thumbnail templates, that is not going to be saved automatically into the thunder thumbnail folder. So then when it's time now to save your thumbnail that you're using, you then basically have to go save to folder and then you will see your thumbnail folder. You select it and you basically title it and then you just uh, save to folder or, or move to folder. And it's just that simple. It's just that simple. It is a game changer for us as content creators and helping us with our pr productivity of content creation. Tech says, do, 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 do. you can add videos with Canva. You sure can't. You can, you can edit uh, videos with Canva and you can add videos with 
with Canva. And um, Canva is definitely making, to me, Canva, when, you, when you're on the beginner level of content creation and graphic designing, and maybe you're on the beginning level of learning how to do editing, Canva is making things very simple and easy for the beginner. So that instead of you having to go to some advanced Adobe uh, type of software or Final Cut software, it's it's a beginner level uh, graphic design software uh, tool that me and you as content creators, educators use it, um, uh, and and other people in, in marketing use it. It's it, on a beginner's level. Now, if you're like the emotional CEO the graphic designer guru master, you know, he can take that and he can start taking things on an advanced level. So uh, when we look to do this presentation the right way, when it comes to the advanced level style, we're definitely going to pull, pull on the community here from the productivity community of the emotional CEO and maybe do a presentation. Hey, if you are getting great value, out of this live stream discussion on Canva folders as a tool to help you in your content create creation and productivity system, please do me a big favor for our dear sister Florence. Um, hit that thumbs up button if you have not yet. Hit that thumbs up. That's the like button. Hit the share button. And, and sometimes we take that share button for granted. Um, I know I have. I've been guilty watching some great content, even from Dagan or from Tech uh, or another content creator click on that share button. It's going to pull up some social media posts, uh, platforms that you may be regularly on. And it may be relevant to your audience in the newsfeed that you are part of. And you can even share it to Facebook. You can even share it to LinkedIn or Twitter. So definitely want to share this. And if you haven't subscribed to this, this channel, the, the Purposeful Productivity Equip Institute YouTube channel, uh, our sister, I think I checked this evening, she is at 80 subscribers. She's, she needs about 20 more. And so if you've been on the fence about subscribing to this channel, when you know good and well, each week for 30 minutes, she's been providing you great value. I want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel and click the alert notification button so you'll be alerted when she goes live so she can add value to you and the community. We have about a little over um, uh, 180 seconds left. Uh, we said we're going to stick to 30 minutes, and that's what we're going to do. If you have any final questions or comments, please put them in the chat. That's right. Please don't forget to hit the like button as the, the, the master live stream moderator, Action Jackson Frank, has said, and, and the emotional CEO who are down here, doing the moderation. So I greatly appreciate you both. Um, any other last comments, any last comments, any last thoughts? Um, I truly want to appreciate our dear sister Florence, Frank, and the emotional CEO providing me this opportunity to be able to share with the community as a guest host. And I, please, I accept my deepest apology and this technical oversight and not being able to have the presentation. I worked on it all week, tested it. Me and Florence tested it last night and we were good to go. And I, I guess it's just a part of live streaming uh, hiccups that we go through. We've all gone through them. I just wish it would have happened on my channel and not her channel. Um, but definitely we'll, we'll, we'll look at getting some stuff edited and um, we're going to produce some great content for the replay viewers. Um, last call, last call. Let's see what we got here. The emotional CEO says, great job. Thank you, sir. We will roll with the punches, roll with the punches. Definitely. We had to, we had to play Rocky like this was uh, Mr. T here. You know, you ain't so bad. You ain't bad. You, I forgot how, how Rocky told him, you ain't so bad. You ain't so bad. You ain't nothing. And that's how we have to tell technical difficulties. You ain't nothing. And just be able to stand toe to toe with them, even though P Apollo said, you know, you, 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 you're going to get your head knocked off. But we got to be able to roll with the punches. That's my little Rocky quote for tonight. 
And so um, we are at 30 minutes. And so I want to thank each and every one of you tonight for being a part of the Purposeful Productivity a live show. Your homework tonight, once the replay goes up, is to go to the comment section. Go to the comment section and put in the comment section on what you need to start putting in Canva folders. Is it thumbnails? Is it slide presentations? Is it Zoom background? Um, uh, you know, Zoom backgrounds that you can create for, um, for for virtual meetings. Put it in the comments section once the replay becomes available, and we're going to be in the comments section and have a conversation, which I, along with our dear sister Florence. So, good night, everyone, and thank you so much for the opportunity to be a guest host here on the Purposeful Productivity live stream show. God bless.